My name is Joan Jack and I'm an independent Norwex consultant and I'm coming to you live from our home in Atlanta, British Columbia. Talking about cricket First Nation territory, traditional territory, and my wonderful cameraman is Brian Jack. Sometimes he laughs at me because sometimes I'm funny. <laughs> Come on and Anyways, me. tonight I'm going to demonstrate for you the Safe Haven 5, but first I wanted to tell you how the products came to me. My daughter Lonnie almost five years ago was having a party and messaged me and said, Mom, have you heard of Norwex? And I had not heard of Norwex and I was a little annoyed and busy and she said, well, I want you to come to the party. So I'm not going to know a dumb party. And so I said, here's my visa. Just send me $100 of whatever. So about a week and a half later, because the shipping is typically really good, even up here to Atlin with, with uh, Norwex. But right now during COVID, everything's slowed down. So I apologize for those of you who already ordered and your order took a little longer, it's out of our control because of all the safe social distancing and stuff in the, in the warehouse and everything's taking longer. So I told her, here's my visa, send me $100 or whatever. So she sent me what's called a rainbow package and that's five Norwex cloths um, for $89, I think it is, instead of 100 So I, I got them and then that evening I opened them up and Brian went up to the loft to bed and and I was down here and I, I was reading the instruction. And so I thought, okay, just add water. And I wet it and I just started wiping things. And I couldn't get over it. Like it still amazes me. Even after all these years, I'm still amazed. And if you're new to Norwex, you're gonna be amazed. If you're already a Norwex user, well then you know what I'm talking about. But the claws are amazing because they work mechanically rather than chemically. Now I'm just gonna grab my, my Enviro cloth. So what I wanted to um, share with you about the Enviro cloth is that uh, the thread for for microfiber to be considered microfiber like the stuff you buy at Canadian t tires or um, Dollarama or whatever dollar store it's one sixth the size of a human hair which I already can't wrap my mind around our microfiber is one two hundred smaller than a human hair so I am assuming you probably need like a microscope to see it or something but anyways it's very tiny <laughs> And the, the fiber, I think Brian went close already, but you could just go again. You see those little loops? And this is an old cloth, a newer one, but they last forever. So you can see the little bumps. So you're cleaning mechanically because that thread, the way it's woven, will pick up any, any bacteria, live bacteria, protein from hard surfaces, 99%. Just like Lysol wipes say they'll pick up 99% of bacteria, so will this. The difference between the Lysol, the Lysol wipes and, the, and our cloth is that you have to read the directions on the back of the Lysol wipes. They say, uh, depending on the product, it says anywhere from four minutes, leaves on the surface to dry anywhere from four to 10 minutes for it to actually disinfect. So it's the process of disinfecting through chemicals that kills the bacteria on the surface. But if you're not doing it properly, you're not killing anything and you're just smearing that bacteria all over your, all over your uh, counter and it's not actually cleaning anything with ours because it's cleaning mechanically you're wiping and grabbing these little fibers grab all that bacteria off and it's been tested so the other thing is there's silver in here so silver is well known to be an antiseptic it kills um, germs and when people are coming to hospitals with burns they have uh, bandages with silver in them you can get silver fluid that you drink to get rid of any kind of um, like bacteria inside you that shouldn't be there. So silver is a well-known um, healing element. It's in the cloth and it, they get it into the cloth by melting the fabric fiber and the silver and then pulling it out like a spider web, I guess. I don't know. I just know it works. I often tell people, I don't know how electricity works either, but I turned the switch on. So I don't really care how this works or why, but it does work. And we have the test to show it. So you just take it and you, wet it. The other thing I was saying um, earlier is that I don't, um, what I like about the Norwex Enviro cloth and any of the cloths is it doesn't have to be hot water. Like when I used to clean before Norwex, if it was really dirty, I had to have like such hot water, I could hardly put my hands in the water. It doesn't have to be that way with Norwex. So you're just cleaning with water. So I ran that out and we're going to go over to the window and do, and you fold it in you fold it like this because you're cleaning mechanically and you want to have eight sides. Thanks to our son who eats so much bacon, we never run out of bacon grease. I make my living from my son's bacon grease. 
All right, so you see that all over the window there. You see that, eh? Okay, so we've got this folded in four, and we're gonna wipe it because we're cleaning mechanically. You want your hand on a flat surface. And you just do that. One, two, three. Look, all that grease is gone. And now you take the window cloth, same thing, folded in four, doesn't matter which direction. And then you take it and you do this. And you have a perfectly clean window with no grease just from a little bit of water and elbow grease. Huh, I'm always amazed. Yeah, it blows me away. All right, so that's our first two out of the Safe Haven 5. So you can use these cloths for cleaning anything. You can clean your toilet bowl with this Envar cloth. You can clean uh, countertops. You can clean any flat surface. You can wipe the table. Um, and some people aren't comfortable with using the same cloth to clean their toilet as they do their kitchen, which is why we have them in different colors. Technically, you don't need to change the colors up. As long as you rinse them under the water and get anything that was in there out of there, you can use the same cloth to clean your bathroom as you do your kitchen. But most people aren't comfortable with that. So let's go over here now. So these are the first two. And then this is our, this is our dusting mitt. So the microfiber picks up the dust and you just want to make it charge a little bit so that there's a little bit of static electricity in there. And if you're left-handed, you put it on this way. If you're right-handed, you <laughs> Brian always loves that one. <laughs> it's a miracle. You don't have to buy two. Come on, this way over here. But you can see the light's not as good anymore, eh? But you can still see. Can they see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just dusting dusting the counter off and it picks it up so I used to use like pledge and all kinds of other horrible horrible uh, chemical cleaners so look that's pretty good yeah all right we'll just put this back okay so that's how this works let's go over to the garbage can now. this is the brush we sell Here. that's how you clean off the and um, the, the dust mitt, look, oh good. Could use that a couple more times. This mitt is almost five years old. So now we're gonna demo the, the cleaning paste. So the cleaning paste has no chemicals in it. It says, uh, can be used on chrome, plastic, ceramics, porcelain tiles, and similar materials. Active ingredients, marble flour, whatever that is, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. No phosphates, poisons, or acids environmentally and skin friendly. Okay, so we're just gonna, you just take a damp Enviro cloth again and get a little bit on your cloth. And can you zoom in on this pot, pot mess here, babe? Okay, normally I would have gotten the Fantastic with bleach out and then I would have ruined my shirt because I would have had bleach all over my tummy. But we're just gonna do this. Look how easy that comes out. Oh, perfect, just about perfect. I mean, these counters are 28 years old, but that's that's how that is. I'm just gonna get a little bit more wet because I wanna show the, the cleaning, the cleaning, how nice I can clean the pot. See, that side there is pretty dirty. I'll get, I'll wet this a little bit more. Now, a jar of cleaning paste like this probably last you a year or more. So now, I'm just gonna pick a spot and do this. Of course, it takes a bit of elbow grease, and I'm just demoing. I'm not trying to finish it, but the other thing I would do, so that's just with a cloth and water and the cleaning paste. Look how beautiful. No, yeah, eh? It's a nice, it does it nice. So if you have stuff inside the pots too, you can clean that out. The trouble with this stuff too is once you start cleaning, you don't want to stop. It's like sickening. And the other thing you can do is you can use the spirit sponge and get a little bit on there like that and just do like this too if you really wanted to give her heck and yeah see pretty nice eh? Got to make sure you hang them up 
uh, so that the silver that's in the cloth is going to kill any bacteria that's alive and left in your cloth. And did you know, when your mop or your cloth starts to stink, it's because there's bacteria in there rotting. Live, something is alive and dying in your cloth. So, yeah, how about that? <laughs> Grody. <laughs> so pull your pants up and move on. Okay, so now we're going to talk about, we did the Envara cloth, two, three, four, and the last one is the laundry soap. So I used to think that the smell of the laundry detergent meant that my clothes were clean. It's actually just the smell of whatever fragrance has been put into the laundry soap so that we are conditioned to believe that that smell means clean. Clean actually doesn't have a smell. If something's clean, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> All the dirt's gone and it doesn't smell like anything. This is a Tide pod. For years I used Tide and then when the pods came out they were so convenient. And this is a, a dissolved Tide pod. So I got soap in there. There's dye, that blue dye. It gets on your skin and your skin is the largest organ in your body, like we have the heart, liver, kidney, intestines and all that, our skin is alive as well. And that's why you get skin rashes and irritants because your skin's saying, ah, what are you doing, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you putting all that chemical on me? And you can't escape the chemicals that's in laundry soap because it's in your sheets, your towels. Even if you use cloth diapers for your babies, back in the day we did. We were putting chemicals right on our baby's bottom, you know, so all of the baby clothes, everything has got chemicals in it, and that's not good. Some people's skin will react right away, and other people over time, no good. So this is Tide, and then when Game came out, I loved it so much because it was so fragrant. I was like, oh my God, I just love that smell. <coughs> I was like, oh, everything Game. Gain uh, laundry soap, gain dryer sheets, just gain everything. And then... <laughs> And I found Norwex and realized all oh, the chemicals gain is like the number one offender in terms of fragrance and dyes and chemicals in the laundry soap. And so just to, this is the dye here and it's, it's green. Now I'm so chemical free and I uh, live without fragrances that if I'm in the same room like down at the culture center, if somebody comes in to do work on something in that small space at the cultural center and they've been washing their clothes in gain, my eyes start to water and burn within, or if they get in my truck and I give them a ride, within 15, 30 seconds, like within not even a minute already I'm burning, my eyes are burning. And that's from the chemicals in the game. That's how it affects me. And this one here is our Norwex, it's clear, it's got no dye in it. And just to show you that it's actually still, it's soap, there's some suds in there. I just want to show this, babe. Okay? I'm not going to come to you because you're tired. Okay, so this is our, in this little wee package, there's 25 HE loads. So our laundry soap is biodegradable, has no phosphates, no sulfate, no chlorine bleach, no filters, no optical brighteners, no animal testing. That's really important to some people. A lot of the products we buy, we don't even realize they're tested on animals. Oh, the dog didn't die or whatever. You know, the rat didn't die, the rabbit didn't die. It's not good. Bad karma. So there's no dyes or fragrances in here. Even this little thing, if you have an old school standard washer, you can still get 16 loads of laundry out of here. So you really need to measure um, properly and believe that you don't need everything. I'm going to do some posts tomorrow that show how I got moose blood out of one of the jackets in the family here, and I couldn't believe it came out. So I think that's it for our five products. And I just wanted to close by telling you that hosting the Wiz is a really great way to be able to afford more products because you get... Uh, gifts for hosting depending on the party sales and then you also get 12% of your sales that you can use to buy anything that you want uh, things of your choice towards your choice and then the other thing is on the third day I'll be talking about the hosting program and we also have this opportunity and I started to do this uh, and build a team because the federal government sent so much chemicals cleaning chemicals onto our reserves when COVID hit that I just, cause I'm a lawyer, I got so mad and I thought they're just trying to discharge liability. They don't really care about us. They just don't want to attract any liability. And they, their lawyers probably said, look, you need to do something because if First Nations people start dying from COVID and you didn't do anything, you know, you have a fiduciary relationship with them and blah, 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 the shitty water systems, bad housing, there would be lawsuits. So they sent all this chemical into our reserves. 
thousands of dollars. And I got so angry about that. And I thought, well, instead of being a victim, I'm going to start a team. So I started the Indigenous Chemical Free Homes team. And we're now 21 and I am 22. We're 22 strong from four provinces already. And if you're interested in earning money from home, learning how to earn money from home, I can help you do that. And I'll give you more info on day three. All right. Thanks for listening.